Welcome to the Minute Masters, and today I'm going to show you how to install out and up and it's come. light bar in your grill. So we're going to start by removing all four of these screws and the one right here. With all the screws out, just simply grab your grill, pull out and up, and just come right out. So at this point, there's two ways you can go about mounting a light bar. Obviously the best is to fabricate steel brackets that hook onto the steel of your core support. That's not an option for me. I don't have brackets or a shop to fabricate them. So then I wanna mount it to some plastic. The best plastic probably is this support here. Um, it's pretty thick uh, and hefty, although still bendable. But I'm actually gonna try something else, maybe slightly unorthodox. These grills are actually pretty well made and I'm thinking I'm gonna notch out here and here, slip the light bar in from the back and then just run your bolt through these sections right here. I think between the bolt and the notch, it should hold the light bar in place. So there's any number of ways you guys can go about notching these, but I'm gonna use my Milwaukee multi-tool here, a little blade there, and I'm gonna get notching. So I cut notches straight down, just going straight down like that. And then I'm gonna come here at the side, score it and snap it. So here's where I'm at guys. I've worked my way forward and I kind of want to get a, as close to this decorative kind of indentation as possible. So at this point, I'm actually going to take the multi-tool and come in here through the side, do a little score and snap, and I should have it all out. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have our notches right here in the back side. As you can see, the front is intact, so you kind of get that nice grill look, but then obviously you have a place for your light bar. So we're gonna flip it over. I've been working on finessing how I would get the light bar behind here, because obviously this support here presents a challenge that's not normally here when you mount at the top, but as I discussed before, then you're in the way of your Hood latch. So obviously there's hardly a perfect place for it, but I think this makes the most sense. So here's what I did. Off camera, I went and I cut this so that I could pull it back some. And my logic here is that I can go here and actually lay like a piece of aluminum here. And I could actually like either rivet it or screw it in place. And that's how I could firm that up after I'm done or in the future or whatever. But anyway, this is how this will work. So the light comes with these end brackets, pretty simple, two lock washers and the nut. And that's, I think, how they make sure that the thing doesn't pivot on you. So there's a good look at there. So basically I put the Colite emblem facing up and I just kind of slip it in here. And then I just pull back on that center piece that I cut and then just kind of work it in there. The the little uh, screws on the front obviously get hung up when you're slipping this through. And just like that, I have it inside of the grill. So there's kind of a preliminary look if you're looking down at your grill, not bad. So let's get to mounting it in place. So with the grill facing up, the light bar kind of loose inside, what we wanna do is make sure it's centered. You wouldn't wanna have a lopsided light bar. Without measuring and making it too complicated, I think the best way would be to count over the number of screws. So obviously I want four, so top and bottom, there and there. And then what I would do is I would look here to make sure the spacing is even. Once I feel like I've got that sweet spot I'm going to bring the light bar forward, again, lining up, making sure I'm even on both sides. And then I'm gonna go in here, right inside the bracket. And then I'm gonna reach up with a Sharpie, mark my hole, and that's where I know I've gotta put my bolt. 
with my hole marked right there. As you can see, just reach over with a drill bit. Got it. So at this point, we're ready to mount the light bar. It came with this like hex bolt and nut and it was actually a little too long. It just wouldn't have fit inside this grill piece right here. So I actually put the nut on and I cut off a length of it so that it'll fit. Being pretty resourceful today. So anyway, just shove your bolt in there. And actually, if you can do both sides and then we'll turn it over and put the nut on. So for those of you that this small space would present a challenge, getting that nut on, the best way is to take a set of pliers. I have these Kinepex pliers right here. And I basically just held the nut and then I got it started just by reaching through here and spinning it. Once you've got it on, you can just quickly get it with your fingers there. And now it just needs a little L key tightness and we're good to go. Well guys, here it is. Threw the grill back on there, not screwed in. That's the next step. Man, does that look good. Looks very integrated. And I like that, you know, by all appearances, there's no light bar attached to the front. So very cool. At this point, I'm gonna put all the screws back in. The wiring harness comes off the side right over here. And I'll just run that up, zip tied along the way. And then we'll start wiring it in. So the first step in wiring up the light bar is I wanna get the switch situated. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I added these ditch lights right here. And part of that install is I drilled a hole right through the firewall here and I added this grommet. So I'm gonna go inside the cab and I'm gonna fish this connector for the switch back through and into the engine bay, and then we'll connect it to the rest of the harness. So I figured I'd save you guys some of the tedious footage of me wiring everything in because you guys are probably gonna do your own thing and all of our engine bays are slightly different. But as a recap, here's what I did. So switch wire comes out through that grommet there and the firewall up here along the top of this insulation through these two plastic clips over here, zip tie, zip tie. I bundled a lot of the wire that actually goes to the light bar. So that's bundled there, zip tied. The relay is over here, zip tied as well, kind of forego the, you know, screw and whatnot. And then I stabbed the two power wires in the back of my multi-terminal battery terminals. So there's that one there and this one over here. And then the wire feeding the light bar runs underneath here. There's the where it plugs into the actual light bar. And then you'll notice there's kind of a hole right here through your uh, radiator support. On the other side, that's where the intake tube comes through. So this side is the same cut. And now the light bar is linked. So moment of truth, let's light it up. All right, guys, so I'm in the cab of the truck, plenty dark outside. But before I flick the light bar up, I wanna give you a comparison. So here's my projector headlights. These things are plenty bright. There's the brights. And then now, for the light bar. Boom. <laughs> Damn, this thing puts out a lot of light. So I'm just gonna turn off the headlights since they really barely make a dent in there. So light bar, no light bar. That's pretty awesome light output from a 26 inch long, one inch wide light bar. So guys, if you're wanting something a little discreet, something that kind of hides away, consider putting a light bar in your grill. That's all for me, guys. See ya.